Hey guys, today we're checking out this 1970s era Bell and Howell digital multimeter. This one is unique because it uses Nixon tubes for the digital display. And yes, I'm aware they're actually called Nixie tubes, but in my fantasy universe, they're called Nixon tubes. So I'm just going to call them Nixon tubes for the whole video. They were actually invented by the Burroughs Corporation. Nixie is supposedly an acronym for Numeric Indicator Experimental. Inside the Nixon tube is a wire mesh anode cage. Stacked inside of this are 10 cathodes, which are shaped like numerical digits. The tube itself is filled with a neon-argon gas mixture. When one of the cathodes is energized with 170 volts DC, that digit glows. This meter has a three-digit display, but only two Nixon tubes. You'll see when we get up to 10.5 volts, the one is represented by a neon lamp on the left-hand side. It's also pretty cool to watch the digits count down when the voltage is removed. The limited number of tubes also means the meter has a limited range. If I go up to 20 and a half volts, you can see the overload lamp lighting up on the far left. When I switch it to the 200 volt range, we then lose our decimal point. Here I'll drop it back down to 10.5 volts. It just shows 10. And if I drop the meter down to the 20 volt range, now we get our decimal point back. So it's definitely got some quirks compared to a modern voltmeter. Let's take a peek inside here and see what's going on. Well, this says Bell and Howell on the front. It says Heath on the back, AKA Heathkit. I looked in Heathkit's 1976 catalog and was able to find it. It cost 125 bucks assembled, or 80 bucks in kit form. Here's our two Nixon tubes. I like how someone wrote the calibration voltage down here. There's seven integrated circuit chips that make it work. They're all socketed. Here's a shot from behind of the Nixon tubes. These are Amperex brand tubes, which were made in Holland. You can see the wire mesh anode inside the tubes, as well as the stacked wireframe digits. Here's a shot of them on from the top. I'm not sure if that pulsating is the tubes or the camera. Here it is doing the countdown. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these tubes. There's something special about that glow coming from a digital readout. I can see why people are tearing these things apart to salvage the tubes to make clocks and stuff. I'm sure one of you wants to take the tubes out to put them in a Pip-Boy replica or something, but you can't have them. This thing is staying intact. Thanks everyone for watching. I might start a new series on vintage test equipment. I've got a bunch of this stuff that I've accumulated over the years, so stay tuned for that. See you later. Bye.